Hello Champions! We got another character preview. This time it is for Wendy Richter, All of Fame. She is the chase character this month, so we're gonna have a look. She's a striker. We're gonna have a preview at 5 star bronze. Again, I don't get to keep her. This is only for preview purposes. If we have a look at the card. Coach ability at 15,000 is take 65% less damage from yellow submission moves. Links with all of fame and only one set of gear. First move set we're gonna have a look at is the black one, green one, green two. As the power bomb 11 MP black move finisher deals 73.1k damage plus 29.5k bonus damage for every black gem and pin the opponent. The arm wrench yank. 9 MP green move, deal 30.6k damage and choose 7 gems to make into botch gems. And a forearm club, 7 MP green move, deal 29.6k damage and gain 9 black MP. Basically this, uh, while there is no recycling, the whole point of this is going to be the finisher that's going to hit like a truck. Now the trainers for that, we're using George Steel so that we start with more green. We're using Volkov, which you could use also uh, Dude Love, uh, so that Black Gem do 35% more damage, making the finisher 39.8k right there. I'm using All Widow again to help with the recycling a little with uh, both MPs. And I have NWO Big Show here that makes 25% increased chance for Black Gems on the initial gems board, the uh, gem board. Again, since the finisher is for every black gem, I want as much as I can on the board. Show is going to help with that. Could use also a Brie, uh, Bella, uh, Hall of Fame to get an extra 5% for blue uh, from black damage. Uh, although mine is not leveled, so we're not using that. So let's try this. We're going to go versus Hall of Fame Lita. So her bonuses, uh, or defenses, I mean, 46% versus gem damage, 18% for moves. On my end, 15% more health, gem do 15% more damage, that's the feud bonus. Hall of Fame bonus of gem do 10% more damage and 10% more health. Monthly bonus for all Hall of Fame of gem do 20% more damage and 20% more health. Standard bonus of 10% less damage from all move. And the MLC that hasn't expired, 20% more health. 3 more MP to start and 2 more MP charge. And that is it. Let's do this. Right, so let's load that black. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 black at 53k each and an extra 60k. So let's see how much that's gonna hit for. And that's a uh, first turn 600k. And we're done. <laughs> that turned out pretty good. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, obviously if you don't have that many black, it's gonna be very different than that. And it's very possible that they're gonna kick out of it. I mean, she almost did, but uh, you see what that can do. <laughs> All right, let's look at something else. All right, second move set we're gonna have a look at is gonna be the yellow two, black two, and black three. It is a big boot, eight MP yellow move, deal twenty six point six k damage, and choose four gems to make into black gems. The scoop slam, nine MP black move, deal thirty six point four k damage, and modify a three by three random area into multiply gems of strain three. And the leg drop, 8 MP black move, deal 31.1k damage, and make 4 multiply gems into black gems. Trainers for that, account to start with more yellow. 
Titus to have uh, four more black gems made. Uh, also, Ogin to create one extra. And we're going to have Taker also uh, to make those multiply do more damage. Right, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to choose nine gems to make into black. I'm not going to make more than that because I don't want my turn to end. Uh, just place a couple of random ones. Yeah. I turn ended anyway. Probably should have made it on the top row and have less chance of it happening. Alright, so now we're gonna modify the 3x3 area. Oh, there's already three that are black. We make ten in total. That's gonna fill the rest. Alright, 380 something K damage. She kicked out. But the thing is that since we're getting all black, we got our black move ready to go again. Even if I have my yellow move ready, I don't really care for it. I'm still gonna use it, but just to do a little damage and to place some blacks randomly a little over the board. Just so that it has something to connect to. But I don't really want them to connect before I use boat move because I don't want my turn to end. But right now I got blacks everywhere. It's a bit unfortunate that it landed there because if it landed somewhere else, I would have converted those two as blacks. Because they are multiply gem regardless of if they're mine or not. And it's over. So this, this move set definitely works pretty well. All right, let's have a look at something else. All right, final move set. Now for the previous one, I forgot to mention, you could have used either of the yellow. Uh, obviously the big boot is met, is better because it's a choose move. Uh, the arm drive costs one less and makes one more, but it makes them random. So still works, but you got more security with the big boot. So now for the final move set is going to be the triple black. It's going to be the power bomb, 11 MP black move finisher deals 73.1k plus 29.5k bonus damage for every black gem and pin the opponent. Scoop slam, 9 MP black move deal 36.4k damage and modify a 3 by 3 random area into multiply gems of strength 3. And the leg drop, 8 MP black move deal 31.1k damage and make 4 multiply gems of uh, four, four multiply gems into black gems. Trainers for that, Bray to start with more black, Titus O'Neill to generate four more black gems from this move right there. Uh, we're going to use NWO Big Show instead of Zombie Taker so that we create, uh, we have more blacks to begin with. And I do have Hogan in here just to just in case that we land in a spot where there's no black whatsoever that we're making all nine of them into black. Uh, if I had Brie Bella, that would be, a, well, if I had leveled a Brie Bella Hall of Fame, she would be a better option because she had 5% damage to blacks.
right? So we're not gonna use that one already. We're gonna wait one turn. All right, we're gonna make nine. Uh, whoops. Let's make the multiplies first. And we're gonna make the blacks. Supplies. Now we got seven. We got another six, another seven right there. So we got 14 there. We're only making nine. So we're going to play safe and we're going to use the finisher, which did all the health he had. This works pretty well, too. All right, so that's pretty much it for Wendy. I wouldn't say that she stopped here. I mean, she's she's pretty good, but uh, I wouldn't put her as a top tier character just based on the randomness that everything went perfectly fine in the videos I did, uh, but I'm sure it could happen that it doesn't. Uh, it's also probably would be a very different result if we didn't have the extra 20% that there's currently with the MLC. But I mean, all the moves that worked pretty well. I think the second one was probably my favorite for her. So uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao.